So there was a mass shooting last night. Um, it was actually not in the United States, which is a little bit of a shocker. Um, but more shocking is that it was in the country of uh, New Zealand. Uh, now, New Zealand, of course, is uh, near Australia, in case you guys didn't know. Um, now, there's a, a, what happened was a gunman, who I will not be identifying by name, um, because I don't think that he needs the attention. Certainly, he is looking for attention. Uh, he certainly wants people to copy him. Uh, and I'll get into the details, of course, later on uh, of what the motivations were. Uh, but um, he basically, uh, in two different mosques, uh, was involved in murdering 49 people and injuring at least 50 in uh, two different mosques. Uh, so now New Zealand, of course, hasn't seen a terror attack like this for a very, very long time. I believe the last mass shooting there was back in 1985. Uh, and it's being reported that the shooter was a white Australian-born male who apparently had some white supremacist tendencies. Uh, now, there was a weird rambling manifesto that was released. Um, and in it, of course, he said a bunch of things. Some of the stuff might actually have been trolling. Uh, some of the stuff was very real. Talked about, you know, white genocide a lot. Talked about how, you know, the, the Muslims uh, are a big problem. Uh, also said some ridiculous things like, oh, go subscribe to PewDiePie. And, you know, I love Candace Owens and all that stuff. So I, I don't know what's, you know, that I don't know really what, what's real in that part. But I do know that there were some definite things that he wanted to stir up. A lot of division, a lot of strife, get people to fight each other uh, in America. And, and especially start... Maybe something like a, a, a race war. So, I mean, it's, you're pretty your standard right wing, uh, you know, super, super right wing, reactionary, you know, uh, just disgusting person. Not saying that all right, uh, you know, people who are on the right side of the spectrum are like that. But I'm saying this guy is uh, extreme, right? So now, he actually did write uh, in this manifesto. That with enough pressure, the left wing with the United States uh, after the shooting, because he, basically he wanted to start a start a conversation, not, not really a conversation, but start an argument on gun control. And he did that by explaining the guns that he used and the fact that, oh, I could have used something else, but I decided to use a gun in this one. Here's what I used. Let's have a conversation now that I've done this to talk about gun, you know, gun control. And I hope you leftists, you know, will try to get rid of the Second Amendment. In fact, they said uh, the ab attempted abolishment of rights by the left will result in a dramatic polarization of the people in the United States and eventually a fracturing of the U.S. along cultural, and he emphasized, racial lines. So, uh, look, where have we heard this kind of rhetoric before? Oh, the, the, we're going to do the race war, right? You're going to take their freedoms and liberties, and then we're going to cause racial divisions... And, uh, you know, and, and break the United States apart, basically. I, I can see where I've, you know, where, where I've heard this kind of rhetoric before. But can you think of a person or an organization that continues to lie about, you know, the left uh, and how we think about the Second Amendment? I don't know about you, but look, I don't know a lot of liberals who want to abolish the Second Amendment, right? I know, I know those who would like to put some limits on... Things, that, you know, the kinds of guns that you might be able to purchase or the kinds of accessories, etc. cetera. Um, banning all guns? No, I, I don't see a lot of people talking about that. But it's very clear this man was very, very deranged, wanted a race war, and wanted to stir up a lot of trouble, and wanted to have a lot of copycat um, mass shootings, right? And according to his own words, he thought that Donald Trump was the leader who will promote the white race. Uh, and let me give you a quote. He said he saw Donald Trump as a quote, symbol of renewed white identity and common purpose. While also noting that as far as leadership and policymaking, no, absolutely not terrible. Well, I mean, at least he's right about one thing. Uh, another, as I, as I mentioned before, uh, hero was, you know, Ben Shapiro, uh, uh, and, and Candace Owens, I'm not sure about the Candace Owens thing. Uh, let's be honest, 
I think he might have been trolling when he said this, but he said, uh, because he said a lot of really strange things like, oh, I, I trained on Fortnite and Spyro the Dragon also, you know, radicalized me or something weird like that. So I don't know what's trolling. I don't know what's not, but the whole manifesto was incredibly odd and incredibly strange. And so, you know, but uh, what he said about Owens was each time she spoke, I was stunned by her insights and her own views helped push me further and further into the belief of violence over meekness. Uh, again, I don't know if that's true. It would be very, very strange to see someone so hung up on white identity to be listening to someone like Candace Owens. But then again, Candace Owens has basically talking, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, she's basically been caught saying a lot of things, a lot of terrible things about Muslims, uh, a lot of things about, you know, oh, we need to get the, the Western birth rate up so that the Muslims don't take over France. So there's some strange stuff, right? And Owens, for her part, of, uh, of course, basically responded by tweeting, LOL, with a crying face emoji. When Twitter users pointed out that she had been mentioned in his manifesto, um, and she had some uh, other responses that uh, basically, to me, did not seem adequate. Uh, she apparently didn't really call it out, uh, as far as I know. And I could be wrong. Maybe she, maybe she did a couple of tweets and I didn't see them. I don't know. Um, but if she hasn't already, I would probably issue a full condemnation of this guy. And we'll see if that happens. Uh, now, the White House, of course, did weigh in, as, um, uh, weigh in as well, along with Donald Trump. So let me get to the Trump quote first here. Uh, he says, My warmest sympathy and best wishes goes out to the people of New Zealand after the horrible massacre in the mosques. 49 innocent people have so senselessly died, with many more serious, uh, seriously injured. The U.S. stands by New Zealand for anything we can do. God bless all. Best wishes. Uh, we'll get to that statement in a bit. Because some uh, social media users had a little bit of an issue with that. It's a different segment. Uh, now, in a separate uh, statement, the White House condemned the shootings, but actually did not mention that it was a mosque or that the victims were Muslim. Uh, they said the United States strongly condemns the attack in Christchurch. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families, this is according to a statement from uh, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She said, We stand in solidarity with the people of New Zealand and their government against this vicious act of hate. Uh, we also have a response from John Bolton. Uh, John Bolton said, The U.S. is very concerned. It's following the events of New Zealand very closely. Quote, We're obviously greatly disturbed on what seems to be a terror attack, which it absolutely was. Uh, this hate crime in New Zealand... We've been in touch with our embassy overnight. We're still getting details, but the State Department and others are following up on it, he said in a statement of Friday morning. Ivanka Trump also weighed in. Um, let's see. Um, she said 49 innocent people were slaughtered in their place of worship during the terrorist attack on Christchurch mosques. Uh, mosques. We join in New Zealand and Muslim communities around the world in condemnation of this evil as we pray for the families of each victim and grieve together. So there's these statements, right? Um, that they seem to have ignored something, right? Uh, now, actually, Ivanka's statement is probably the best out of all of them. But again, all of them ignores the fact that this statement, or I'm sorry, that this shooting was rooted in white supremacy, that this attack, right? Not one statement identified right white ring uh, white right wing terrorism that is hard to say uh so <clears throat> now wait a minute so now, now i i thought the only way to beat terror is to call it what it is i mean it, you gotta call it by name right just say it just say it it's it's white right wing terrorism that's what it is i mean again it that there's proof there's a there's a manifesto there's everything about how it was against the muslims so call it what it is, unless you don't want to for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe you can explain why. <laughs> uh, but look, I, I don't think they'll ever take responsibility for inspiring these atta this attack. And I do hold their rhetoric accountable. And the reason I say this, you look at what they're saying, the, the stuff that they're saying, 
right? I mean, you could go on and, and watch Tucker Carlson, right? Tucker Carlson's got the, the, the biggest show in America, right? Most watched. And you'll hear, hear him talking about how Muslims are incompatible with Western civilization. Well, guess what? The world's listening whenever you say that. Or every time a policymaker tries to push a ban on Muslims because of how dangerous they are. You know, the world sees that, right? And every time this administration hedges on calling out white supremacy or refers to neo-Nazis as very fine people, that very same hatred, that becomes normalized. And it becomes a bigger part of who we are. And look, I, I don't know, but I, I don't, I don't want to live in this con- that, that kind of country. I don't want to live in a place where that's normal. I don't want neo-Nazis uh, and fascists to feel emboldened. I don't want to do that. I don't want them to divide us. And I don't want people like this guy to win. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.